Everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I know I have one hot mess here on my desk. You should see my craft room. It literally looks like somebody ransacked it. It's such a mess right now. But it's because I've been really super busy trying to get some stuff done. And today we're going to make a box. And the box we're going to make is going to be to put a set of gift cards in. Now I know you can probably do this using different Cricut cartridges, but I just chose to do it by using the paper and the scoreboard and paper cutters. So let's start with the lid for our box. Now I'm going to be making standard A2 size cards. And so the lid for my box, I cut at six and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And then what I did is I took my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I scored three quarters of an inch all the way around the box. And then I went ahead and creased it. Now I use, I'm use i using the Paper Tray Ink Vintage, car, uh, Vintage Cream cardstock and it's really super strong. So I think it's gonna make a good box. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on either end and clip on the short end, on either end, I'm going to clip this side right here and you'll see in a minute how that works. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Now you just want to choose one side. For me, I chose the short end. You could choose the long end. It doesn't matter. You just don't want to cut this little tab off because this is the tab that's going to hold our lid together. Okay, so then I fold those all up. And then I'm going to take my ATG. Now for the cards I'm making, I think that will be plenty strong. You could use something stronger if you wanted to use like maybe Scotch Quick Dry if you had a little bit of time. I don't have that kind of time right now. I'm in a huge hurry. You could use your score tape or your red line tape. That would make a really strong um, hold. But for, for what I'm wanting for this box, just a simple little box, my ATG is going to work just fine. So now that I've put tape just on these corners, now I'm going to start folding my lid. And you see how it already naturally folds. Let's start on one end, hold those in place, and then adhere. Turn on the other end, hold it tight in place, and adhere. And there is my box lid. Very simple. Um, it's not a fancy box. It's a box that I don't want the recipient to feel bad about throwing it away when the cards are gone. So I've gone ahead and I've made the bottom of the box here. Now this is the test. I'm really concerned that it's gonna fit right. I think I'm going to have to play with this to make it really do what I want to. But I think if you just kind of turn it just a little bit, we're gonna have a good snug box there. Now the bottom one, I made it eight inches by nine inches. And I scored it at one and a half inches all the way around. That gives me plenty of room in the bottom for my cards and it gives me a nice side so I can put probably eight or 10 cards in here. So let's finish this up and make it pretty. So I am putting some cards that I made um, and it will be on a different post, but these are some cards that I made. It's just an assortment. I made some birthday cards and um, just it's a fun little card. And those are the cards that I'm going to put in there with its lids. I mean with its um, different uh, envelopes to go with it. So what I've done is I've chosen three different colors of paper here. And these are just paper from my stash. I think this is from Provocraft. I don't know what this is. But I took this first green piece and I cut it at four and a half inches by five and a half. And then I cut this piece and I cut it at four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I did that because actually I didn't have much of this left after making all the cards. And so I had to double mat it so that it didn't look strange with it going down. So we're going to adhere all the mats to each other first, for, well, at least these first two mats. Now this is kind of a, it's a shy four inches wide, meaning it was just, it's more like three and seven eighths, but I think if I center it correctly, it'll be okay. And I took another piece of this vintage cream cardstock and I stamped using the Fisker set that I've been using quite a bit lately. I stamped You're the Best um, in um, all uh, Bamboo Leaves Memento ink. And I am going to just put that on there. Now it's a little bit wider because I cut that at one and a half inches by four inches, but I that's going to be fine with me. Um, we're going to actually, um, I was going to trim it, but 
I forgot I had inked around the edges of it. I think I'm just not going to trim it. I'll let it overhang and I think it'll look just fine, um, especially by the time I get it finished off. So we'll put this little piece like this direction and just kind of center that the best that I can, just like so. And then we'll put our little You're the best. I'm doing this as a thank you note. My daughter has a voice recital, which is why I'm in such a huge hurry. And um, her voice teacher um, had her get her own accompanist. And I want to do this set of note cards for her accompanist. I think that's just a nice little thank you note. Such a sweet lady to come and accompany Elisa for her voice songs. Um, so I have these um, pearls from want to scrap that I picked up at a scrapbooking expo. And what I want to do is choose one, I think I'm gonna choose one this size. And I found this flower and I have no idea what this flower was. It was in a set that I think you were actually supposed to, it was a mix set. There were two this color and two in the lavender color. And I think you were supposed to mix and match, but I really wanna just use that on the top. So we're going to put that on, but first I better adhere this to the top of my box just to decorate my box lid. Now, if you were making a different size card, you could make a different size box. I mean, you just basically have to know the size of your inside measurements and then just add to the width that you want and then score around it and you have a box. Isn't that pretty already? Just like that. Just a simple little box, a little thank, thank you thinking of you. And let's get the Scott's Quick Dry. And I'll put a nice little generous dab of that on there. Glue dots would have worked too, I guess. And we'll just put that right on top, just like that. So now we can adhere our box here. And it says, you're the best. My thank you, the thank you that I had was, I didn't like the sizes for this. So there we have it, you're the best. And then inside I'll put at least eight cards, you know, and you'll want to vary the, the width of the sides of your box depending on how much bulk you have on your cards if you're having if you want to give away a set of eight cards and they have a lot of bulk on them you know a lot of bling and stuff then you'll want to make it a little bit thicker so thanks for watching and have a great day